Today, we will be talking about some of the options available for RF wireless communication. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and cellular are all part of everyday life. NFC and RFID are also very common, but there are many other technologies available. There are also many other protocols based on the IEEE 802.15.4 standard, including Zigbee, XB, LoRa, Thread, and Six Low Pan. If you need broad or global coverage, you'll probably want to use Sigfox, LoRa, or a cellular option, such as LTE, as these all have existing infrastructure with broad coverage. If battery power is critical, Bluetooth Low Energy and many of the 802.15.4 based protocols have a design for minimal power consumption, although the power savings typically come with reduced data rates or connection range. Range can be addressed by technologies that support mesh networking. Mesh networking is different from point-to-point -point communication, where two devices, and only two devices, communicate directly with each other. It's also different from Wi-Fi's point-to-multipoint communication, where a router can communicate with many different clients, and client-to-client -client communication has to go through the router. Mesh networking allows each device in the network to communicate with all other devices in the network. Devices in a mesh network communicate directly with one another or pass messages along through the mesh until they reach their intended destination so that devices that aren't in range of each other can still communicate through the mesh. To demonstrate a simple point-to-point -point wireless communication, we're going to use a couple of XB modules from Digi International. Here, I have two Series 1 XB wireless modules that use the 802.15.4 protocol. The Series 1 XB module has an approximate 90 meter range. The modules are mounted on these Explore USB boards that provide a USB to UART connection with a PC so we can send commands and receive messages through a terminal program. But first, we need to make sure the modems are set up to talk to each other. In the terminal, I'll enter plus 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 without hitting enter to get into the command mode. Then I can check the current network ID by typing ATID and hitting enter. As we can see, the current network ID is 1111, which is a hex value. Now I want to change it to something easy to remember. So I'll use 444B, which is the hex value for capital DK. I will also set the my address parameter of this XB to 1 using the ATMY command. When I set up the other XB, I'm going to set its my address parameter to 2. So I'll set the destination address high to 0 and destination address low to 2 using the ATDH and ATDL commands. Finally, I'll save these changes by writing to flash using the ATWR command and then I'll exit the command mode with CN. Now I'll do the same on the other XB but with swapped my address and destination address values. With the two XBs configured, we're ready to start communicating. Anything I type here will be sent by XB1 to XB2 and vice versa. So when I type hello, you can see the message received. You can just as easily use the UART on your MCU to set up the link, receive commands, and pass sensor data between nodes. I hope you enjoyed this video from DigiKey. Thanks for watching.